Oh my god, Rayman's Super Smash Brothers is DLC. Oh wait, it's fake. Oh no. You, the world is, is over and... You know what, this intro's gone on long enough. Hello everyone, it's me Tosata. And welcome to quite a depressing piece of news. Now if you didn't know already, there has been a Rayman leak for Super Smash Brothers. And it turns out it was fake. The whole thing fake, the art, the video that came out with it. I'll even show you them at the end, but it was so realistic. I believed it as soon as I saw it. But, my god, I'm shouting a little. But, it's my god, it was so believable. And I'm sad that it isn't real. Because, well, Rayman would have made an awesome character and we've already had several hints that he's actually going to be in. For example, the one employee who said that Rayman's a playable character um, and the Rayman trophy. So they've got the... <laughs> it's not like they haven't got the model already. They've already got it. They don't have to remake it. They've just got it. They've got it already so they don't have to worry. But um, I'm rambling on a little now. So now this video is about the possibility of Rayman actually still being in due to the leak. Now the leak itself actually got the attention of Ubisoft and they said and I quote, and actually I don't know if this is a quote or not, but they said um, that they're looking into the matter. So that's kind of, um, it's a little strange. I mean, if you're, you're Ubisoft, you'd know if Rayman's going to be on or not. You wouldn't have to look into it. So that's what first thing got, got me thinking. Maybe they're going to try and stall it. And they did say they're going to announce something on, on the ch Tuesday. So that could be their announcement of Rayman actually being in. I don't know. But they said that they, they're looking into it, so that's a little suspicious. Because Nintendo surely would have told them if he's in or not. So, that's stupid. But anyway, the second thing is, I think that Rayman possibly could still be in, regardless of this. If Nintendo, and we know that Ubisoft has got the attention of this, um, we know that the company itself has actually got attention, right? So maybe they've gone to Nintendo and said, look how much hype this has got. Even though it's fake, so many people want it to happen. So maybe they're actually going to do it. I don't know, it might be not possible. But it, it could be a chance. And with Rayman's 20th anniversary coming up this year, I do believe it would make too much sense for him to be announced and revealed on Rayman's 20th anniversary. So, you know, it's not like it's not a possibility. And... His, his moveset would fit so much in. Look, see? It, it just it, it would just be too awesome to have Rayman in. Now, so many people, including Etika and me, believe this was real because he looks so good. And, like I said, even Ubisoft pretended, or maybe they actually were, confused by it. So, I hope, I hope so much then Nintendo saw this and went, this is awesome, people want it, let's do it. I hope Sakurai himself, I just hope so badly. But anyway, I'm going to leave you now with the official, not the official, the artwork that the guy made. His name is Artsy Omni, I think his name is. He's done a couple of leaks before he did some for Brawl, some Kirby hats for the new game, and even Klonoa, who was... Uh, a character from a, a what is it? Band Namkai Bando again, that's it. So having five represented having five companies in one game and their mascots fighting it out would be even more awesome than just four. So, you know, Sakurai wants it to happen, he wants to make history. So let's let's have three mans in let's have the three mans, three main mans in one game. Come on, come on Sakurai. You know you want to. Even he's even got the trophy that's what annoys me so much. But anyway, I'll just leave you guys with the the artwork that um, Artsy only did. And I'll see you guys for the next one. See ya, and bye. What the... I'm really feeling it!